Hi everyone, Mark Cabanis here for another Alfred Sacred Jubilate Music digital reading session. And today we're going to talk about The Final Hours, a new suite for Holy Week and Good Friday, written by Lee Dangler and Susan Dangler. And with me in our studios today, Lee and Susan Dangler. Welcome, you guys. Hi, Mark. Good morning, Mark. Doing well. Yes, doing well. Great. Thanks for being here, you guys, uh, via Skype and from all the way from Indiana. And uh, listen, really excited about the final hours. And, you know, we listen to these things when we're creating them and producing them and publishing them over and over and over to make sure everything's correct. And I must say, when I've listened to this several times, you know, after we were in the studio recording and everything, it always moves me. And I told you this on the phone, Lee. I said, it, it, it just really... It's such a beautiful work, uh, and I'm so excited about it. So talk about how this came about. How did the premise come about, the final hours, and uh, tell us about that. Mm -hmm. Well, we knew from the beginning that we wanted to write something, oh, about 18 minutes or in length, approximately for Good Friday, or that could be used throughout Holy Week if desired. And uh, we talked about a number of different approaches because this story has been told many times and we wanted to come up with some fresh idea. Um, and so the idea of the looking at the times of the day that occurred on Good Friday, because the Bible talks about nine o'clock when Jesus was crucified, about noon when the, the, uh, the sun stopped shining and at three o'clock when Jesus died. And so we, thinking about the, that, came, we came up with the title, The Final Hours. It's very compelling, it really is. And you know, you use uh, chimes very creatively, talking about the different hours of the day and how that works. Susan, tell us about how the chimes are, are incorporated into the work. Well, actually the first time we hear the chimes is the very beginning of the work. The work starts with the nine chimes for the nine o'clock in the morning hour that sets the tone for Jesus being hung on the cross. Uh, the next time we hear the chimes after the first anthem, after the first set of narration, is at noon. And of course, we hear 12 chimes, and those chimes are different because they're incorporated into the second anthem which is called the darkest hours because of course that's when um, all of a sudden darkness just covers the entire earth uh, and creates a very poignant moment. And then the third time we hear the chimes, of course we hear three chimes because it's three o'clock in the afternoon when Jesus finally uh, dies and says it is finished. And those three chimes are incorporated into the narration as that happens. And then the final, at the, at the end of the final anthem, we hear the chimes come back in again to suggest again the passing of time of that, those momentous six hours as our Savior was crucified. It's very compelling and very effective the way you, you guys uh, wove that into the context of the narration and the anthems. And so very beautifully done and very creative. And the, the chimes can be played by actual chimes or handbells or something like that. So it's easily attainable and easily uh, executed uh, in that sense. So without any more talking, let's now listen to some excerpts from this very compelling work by Lee and Susan Dangler, The Final Hours.
For three more hours, the world stood in darkness as the light of the world hung on that cross, dying the most agonizing death. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out to his father in a loud voice, saying, My God, why have you forsaken me? He knew that the end was drawing near, and he spoke again, saying, I thirst. Then he bowed his head and said, It is finished. Father, into your hands, I commend my spirit. And then our Savior died. Immediately the earth began to quake violently as rocks were shaken from their very foundations. The massive curtain in the temple was torn from top to bottom. When the centurion who had been guarding Jesus saw all that had taken place, he spoke the words that have continued to ring throughout the ages since that Friday afternoon so long ago. Surely this man was the Son of God. And those were excerpts from The Final Hours, a suite for Holy Week or Good Friday. Beautifully done, Lee and Susan. So, so wonderful and uh, moving. And talk about the um, flexible nature of this work, how it can be done separately or together. Yes, it, it, uh, it was conceived as a single piece of music that can be done together as one piece, so about 18 minutes long, as I said. Um, on Good Friday, specifically, it, it works perfectly for that kind of service. Certainly within the context of a full service, very easily. Yes, yes. exactly. Sure. Um, but it, each of the anthems can be done separately. Uh, if you have multiple services throughout Holy Week, they would easily fit into one of those services. Or they can be done uh, throughout the year if, if there's an appropriate time for this kind of theme. 
Absolutely, absolutely. And Susan, talk about the uh, optional incidental instruments that are that they heard. Well, the two instruments that are used are flute and cello, and I especially like the way Lee uh, created the flute part for the first piece. The first piece is, as you heard, the sun rose in the sky and talks about the birds, and so the flute echoes that sound of the birds. Mm -hmm. The second piece, which is the darkest hours and is obviously more mournful, um, uses cello in just such a... a beautiful way, such a dramatic way. And then finally, in the third piece, surely this was God's own son, we hear both instruments again uh, together. Absolutely. So uh, it, it's so, so uh, organic the way all of those things happen. So again, you have created a beautiful work for, uh, for that uh, time of year, Lee and Susan, and we really look forward to it, it getting out there and impacting churches and congregations and so again, thank you so much for your time today and for this beautiful work, The Final Hours, and uh, any final words you want to say about the work itself? Well, we were inspired by this piece. Um, it, it was very moving for us to write it. And um, uh, our wish and our prayer is that it will be equally as inspiring and moving to churches around the country who do it. Absolutely, indeed. Lee and Susan, thank you so much for your time today to discuss the final hours, and thank you for tuning in to another Alfred Sacred Jubilate Music digital reading session.